Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about visualization of TLC plates. There are two methods for visualization of TLC plates. First one is physical method and the second one is chemical method. Physical method is non-destructive method and chemical method is destructive method. In physical method we are using UV chamber but in chemical method we are using various chemical tests or various reagents for detection of various type of spots. UV method is non-destructive method. In UV we are using uh, two wavelength which is 254 nanometer and 365 nanometer. So in UV method we have to uh, put our plate under UV light and uh, by using UV light we can visualize or we can see or observe our spots in the TLC plate. As here it is non-destructive method and we are using 254 nanometer and 365 nanometer in UV wavelength because most of the aromatic compounds are giving prominent absorbance at 254 nanometer. That is why we are using 254 nanometer. Apart from that in TLC generally we are using silica gel GF254 nanometer as a absorbent. So in 254 nanometer that silica gel or that its stationary phase is giving green fluorescence background and against that green fluorescence uh, background all the compounds giving their spots means dark spots and that can be easily observed. Second thing is that uh, 350 is 365 nanometer. Why we are using 365 nanometer? At 365 nanometer, most of the fluorescent uh, compounds are uh, giving their fluorescence at 365 nanometer because in 365 nanometers, fluorescent compounds gets activated and they releases their fluorescent at 365 nanometer. That is why we are using two wavelength one is 254 and second one is 365 now coming to the second one which is chemical method uh, it is destructive method and in this chemical method we are using various chemicals for detection of different type of uh, compounds in TLC or different type of spots present in TLC so first one is so in first column it is serial number then uh, chemical method then details so first one is iodine chamber So iodine gives uh, brown spots after reaction with aromatic and uh, unsaturated compound. So it is used for detection of aromatic and uh, unsaturated compound. Now coming to the second one which is 10% H2SO4 in ethanol. So H2SO4 is uh, used as a charging agent and it gives black spot for all type of compounds after dipping uh, into the solution uh, and that TLC plate is uh, heated or dried at hot plate or oven. It will give black color spots for all the compounds. It is used for every compound. Now coming to the third one which is para and sulfide. Para aniseldehyde is used as a universal stain and it is good for nucleophiles and oxygenated compounds. Now coming to the fourth one which is bromocrystal green. Bromocrystal green is used for 
एसिडिक ग्रुप एंड फॉर ऑक्सीजन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कॉम्पाउंड्स सो दिस ब्रोमोक्रोसाइल ग्रीन इज यूज फॉर एसिडिक ग्रुप्स आप पीके ए वैल्यू हैविंग लेस देन फाइव एंड इट इज यूज फॉर कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कंपाउंड्स डिटेक्शन ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कंपाउंड्स नाउ कमिंग टू द फिफ्थ वन विच इज कोवाइल्ड क्लोराइड कोवाइल्ड क्लोराइड इज यूज एज ए यूनिवर्सल स्टेट नाउ कमिंग टू द सिक्स वन विच इज ड्रैगन ड्रॉप रिएजेंट It is used for alkylides, amines, organic bases. So, dragon drop reagent is used for alkylides, amines, or organic bases, and it gives orange to red color spots. Now, coming to the next one, which is seventh, ferric chloride. फेरी क्लोराइड इज यूज फॉर डिटेक्शन ऑफ फिनॉल्स एंड इट यूज रेड कलर स्पॉट्स तो फेरी क्लोराइड यूज रेडिस कलर स्पॉट्स एंड इट इज यूज फॉर डिटेक्शन ऑफ फिनॉलिक कंपाउंड्स नाउ कमिंग टू द एट वन विच इज नीन हाइड्रीन It is used for detection of amino acids, amino sugars, etc. Now coming to the next one, which is last ninth, vanillin. It is universal stain. so vanillin is used as universal stain and uh, it is used for uh, same polarity compounds means if uh, there is, there is close uh, in rf value of two compounds then also we can use vanillin because uh, vanillin gives different color spots for different compounds okay so so this is the overview about uh, visualizing agents which is used in tlc now in next part of this video i am going to discuss about evolution of tlc plate thank you